My name is Rohit Massey and I am clinical instructor from DCDC Kidney Care Motinagar Center. Today we will discuss about water treatment plant. Today we will discuss about components and maintenance of water treatment plant. We will discuss component first. Raw water is obtained from either ground water or surface water. Example ponds, river and other surface reservoir. Then water passes to feed pump. Feed pump used to connect water to sand. Then sand filter helps in removing large particles such as sand, silt, dirt and other sediment from water. The pre-filter helps protect the RO membranes that get clogged due to exposure to sediment and chlorine. Then carbon filter helps removing toxic pump compound such as chlorine and chloramine is even effective enough to remove bad odor from water. Then 5 micron filters. 5 micron filters are used to filter water to remove dirt, debris and even micron particles. A 5 micron filter for example is capable of removing particles as fine as 5 micron from the air stream. Everything that is smaller than human hair goes through the pores. Then high pressure pump. It used to send water to the membrane with high pressure. Then membrane. The membrane with very small holes are arranged in a cartridge either in the form of a parallel plate or capillary fibers that use a semi permeable membrane to remove ions molecules and large particles from water. The membrane only allow water molecules to pass through so the other particles are left behind. This process can be used to purify water or concentrate salt water. Then anti skeletal dosing pump. It involves the pre-treatment injection of anti skeletal into feed water. This pump is used in the treatment of water for proper functioning. The presence of an anti skeletal delay the chemical reaction between calcium bicarbonate and magnesium causing the water to get purified by RO. Then product water tank. This is also known as storage tank. In this store treated water for dialysis. Then pressure pump. It used to supply product water to the unit for dialysis machine through the loop line. Then 5 micron filter. It is capable of removing particles as fine as 5 microns from the air stream. Everything that is smaller than human hair goes through the pores. Then UV light. To keep the bacterial growth under control in a complex RO water circuit, including a tank and multiple loop. Then UV lamp. To keep the bacterial growth under control in a complex RO water circuit, a simple UV lamp was inserted in the departure line. So we have two types of maintenance. First, microbiological maintenance and second one is technical maintenance. We do backwash and rinse and anti skeletal preparation. We check membranes for cleaning. Now microbiological maintenance. We disinfect water treatment plant on monthly basis. For example, we do loop disinfection. We send water sample to check microbiological growth. Example, endotoxin unit for bacterial growth. Now do's and don'ts. Do's daily backwash and rinse, anti skeletal preparation, and daily checking TDS. Don'ts don't skip daily backwashing and rinse. Don't let the tank uncovered. Thank you. For queries, contact to clinical department of DCDC.